so excited to have you join me today. For the tutorial that I'm going to be showing you today, I will be showing you how to make hydrangeas. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut all the petals, how to wire them together, and once we have a whole bunch of them, I'm going to show you how to put them all together so you have one large hydrangea head. Are you ready to get started? So what you're going to need is you're going to need a detail scissors. I love the N6165 and the my workhorse scissors, which is the Kai N210. You're going to need 26 gauge wire, plus you're also going to need a white doublet or German crepe paper. And then you're also going to need some tacky glue. And you're also going to need two types of floral uh, tape. You're going to need the white one and you're also going to need the green one. You're actually going to use Design Master Just for Flowers tint. It's really important that you get the tint other type that they have. And you want two different colors. You want the hydrangea blue and also the plum. This is another tint um, by the same company. This one's specifically for flowers, which is really wonderful when you're working with, um, well, when we're making paper flowers. So this is really great for when you're coloring your paper for all the different flowers. So they come in a wide range of colors from chartreuse green to um, orange, yellow, pink, dark pink. And so these are two different types of um, tints that we're going to use to color um, the paper to get these blue hydrangeas. And I like using two different colors because it will actually give it more depth and colorations as you put it, the flower together. And one more thing that you'll need is you'll also need a 16 gauge wire for the stem for the that will hold all the hydrangeas together. And the stem can be as uh, long as a 12 inch or this one's actually just about a nine inch, which I think will be great because um, the stems here is about, let's see, it's about seven inches. And so it's gonna add a little bit more height. And I think that's what I'm gonna need for the bouquet. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna explain a little bit how to color these paper. So what you wanna do, so let's move these out. So when you get a uh, color of these particular paper, what you're gonna do is you are going to unfold the entire piece. I like to start out with a nice heavy spray of the Just For Flower Hydrangea Blue, which is color 135. And also um, as a precaution, please do this outside in open air. You don't wanna be in an enclosed space. Make sure you do wear a mask. Make sure there's no pets or kids around when you do this. So what you'll do is you'll open the whole sheet of paper out and you're going to drape it over a rack or um, pin it against something so that you can actually start spraying it. And when you do spray it, you wanna do a nice smooth spray that goes back and forth. You can do little spurts and that'll concentrate the colors in certain areas, which is will be great too. So once you cover the front and the back, of the paper with the blue color, you're gonna come back and you're gonna do a very light spray. And this is intermittent spray and you're gonna concentrate in certain areas I'll have it and then some areas will be a little bit deeper purple and some will just be a hint and more of the blue is gonna show. It depends on what color you want the, your hydrangea to be. I like to finish the paper off with a nice spray of this blue again. So you wanna cover any, um, any white spots or any color that you want to deepen a little bit more to the blue once you have that purple on just to give that layering effect and it'll add a little bit more coloration and i'll show you a finished product that i did earlier so i just um it's a smaller version of the paper but i just cut it up so you can kind of see like some part you can see the purple the blues the whites and then some parts I really sprayed it down. And then I'll keep a note where there's a lot more heavy purples and a lot more heavy blues. And, and the back is a little bit different, which is really, really great. So when you do this and getting ready, so what we'll do is just make note of where those colors are. And then what I'll do is I like to fold it in half and then fold it again and then fold it one more time. And then to do the hydrangeas, I like to cut them in three different sizes. I like to cut them at the one inch mark, which is right about here, a little bit one and a quarter inch, which is about here, and then I like to cut it at one and a half inch. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we'll do is we'll start it with a one inch, just like so, and then we're gonna come back 
and we're gonna do an inch and a quarter. And then we'll come back in again and do an inch and a half. And this will be enough to give you about maybe 30 to 40 uh, florets heads. So what you wanna do is, uh, when you have this and you're getting ready to cut um, smaller strips, what you're gonna do is find the folded edge and you're just going to snip it just like so. And then um, we'll go ahead and just leave this side um, uncut. And for this particular piece, because it's about an inch and a half, we really want the width of it to be just a tiny bit over an inch. And then once you gauge that particular size, what I like to do is go ahead, feed it in this way. It's a lot easier to cut. And so I'll just do all of them. And then this part right here, I will go ahead and just cut it down the middle. And we'll set this aside. And then we'll do the next one, which is going to be the one and a quarter inch. Again, find the folds, just go ahead and cut it. And then next, what you're gonna do is this one, you want it to be under an inch. So we'll set this up to be about right about there. It's just sh shy of an inch. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And then for this part, there's a couple pieces that are a little bit too big, so I'll go ahead and cut it to the size I want, and then these are scraps. And then we'll put this aside. And then next, we'll do the one that is about an inch. Now we're gonna do the one inch. So then, the same philosophy, go ahead and find the folded edge. Go ahead and cut the sides. And this one, you're definitely gonna do under an inch too. So a little bit smaller. Then once you gauge it, go ahead and take it to the other side. like so and then we'll go ahead and set this aside so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and we'll, we're done with the cutting part so now that we're done with all the cutting pieces what we're gonna do is I will show you how to cut the petals so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and fold this in half and you can see the pretty colors. So you kind of in your mind as you're cutting them, which one do you want having facing outward? So I really want a more blue. So I'm, I'm going to make sure that most of my petals are going to be blue on the top. So I'll go ahead and fold it. And what you want to do is you want to cut it with a slight divot on top. So I don't know if you can see that, but you want it to be just like so. A little bit bulbous in the very top. And I'll place it here. And we'll do about, um, I'm gonna show you how to do three sets and I think that'll be enough examples to show you because I went ahead and pre-made a whole bunch of them. So I think that's gonna help a lot just to form and give you an idea because it's pretty much the same after each one and you wanna do it for all three sides. So once you get really good at this, Go ahead and start doubling up or tripling it up and it'll go a lot faster. And the really um, important thing to note is you want a very smooth rounded tops, rounded sides. And I really love the purple. I think the purple is just adds a little bit more interest to the petals. Just like so. And then we just need to do three more. And then I'm gonna show you how to cut these guys. Just as you can see, I always could start from the middle, angle inward and then out. Making sure everything is nice and round on three sides. So we have about four sets. So how to cup these are really easy. So it's not too much cupping like we usually do where we force in and then outward. We're just going to actually tug it 
and pull out and that's it and then if you see any wrinkles you take your thumb and you just kind of sweep it and that's all you have to do just like so and this will smooth any wrinkles that you have and just just like that and we're not using a lot of strength like we usually do we're just giving it a nice quick tug and that's it okay and then what you want to do is go ahead and grab your 26 gauge wire I'm gonna grab about three stones for this we're gonna grab our floral tape so this is gonna be the stem so you want to cut like a three inch strip um, three and a half I'm just eyeballing it I think I overdid it a little bit but it's okay and then this one for the light green we're actually gonna do about four inch and this will build the stem down all right so here we go so this is what you're gonna do so floral tape there's glue inside the tape because as you can see it there's it's not sticky whatsoever to activate the floral tape you want to hold the two ends give it a nice tug and now the glue comes out and the, the tape is sticky so what you want to do now is you take your end of your wire place it right in the middle just like that go ahead and wrap it once you have it nice and wrapped we're just gonna roll it and you want to keep the top part together and we're just gonna create a little bit of a stamen part right here and then you're just gonna roll it and make sure the tape is nice and smooth and then we'll take the green one activate it again stretch it out and then you're gonna go a quarter inch down from the top you're gonna create a nice clean edge right there you're gonna roll it down and then we're gonna build it down so you're just gonna angle it this hand is moving the wire this hands holding the tape and then you're just going to roll it until all the tape is gone. Just like so. And then let me show you again. So pull it apart, get that glue to come out, place it right in the middle of the tip, and then you're just gonna wrap it. Once you have it wrapped, you're just gonna start rolling it, just like that. And just building that piece up. And I don't know if you noticed like certain hydrangeas when they get older they start blooming in the inside so that's a really fun thing to see you know it's more mature you want to go ahead and wait for that center to start opening up and as soon as you do you can go ahead and cut it and then um, place it in water and it'll last a lot longer than when this particular um, floret is unbloomed because it's not mature enough yet so that's a fun fact that I found from one of my flower friends who's a flower farmer. So activate it, stretching it out, taking your wire, putting it right in the middle. Then you just wanna wrap it really well. Once you get that wrapped, start rolling it. And you wanna keep this tape pretty flat against this because you want a nice smooth edge. And then take the green one, open that up quarter inch down and then once you have it established go ahead and build it down now you have three uh, wires stems and then another detailed thing that I would like to do because this part actually bloom is I like to take my detail scissors and I like to do a quick indent not cutting all the way through but kind of just so you can see the indent of that. We'll do it with this one. I'll see if I can pull up closer so you can see. Just quick indent, and then that's it. And it just adds a nice detail that if anybody looks closer, it just looks more real. And that's all you have to do. You're not cutting through the floral tape. You're just indenting it a little bit. All right, let's get to the part where we actually glue onto the petal. So the petals are all cupped. And the really important thing to note when you're doing this is do not add a lot of glue. You just want just a little tiny dab because we're gonna be gluing all these pieces together. And so we're just gonna add this here. Just 
just like so. Okay, so once you have all that um, glue out, you'll grab one of your stems. You wanna place it right in the middle where that tip of glue is. That's where you wanna lay the edge of that green tape. Next one you're gonna do is lay that on top, I mean the bottom, and then layer that again. And then the fourth one, you're gonna lay it down. Then you're gonna take that fourth one and you're gonna roll it into the first one. So all the petals are overlapping each other. And then you're just gonna press it in so the glue gets moved around and making sure all the paper gets stick. At this point, before the glue dries, you wanna go ahead and open the petals up. And making sure that the green tape does not show. And this is the part where I actually move it and pinch it a little bit so there's a little bit more curvature to the petal. And that's all there is to it. So I'll bring this in. And let's do one more. So right where that green tape ends, that's where the glue, the piece of um, petal will go to. You're just slightly laying it on, underneath, uh, layering it together. Last one, you wanna tuck it into the first one, just like so, pinch it. And then before the glue sets, go ahead and open them up. And I'm just making sure that when I do open them up, my thumb is placed underneath, holding the petal so it doesn't like come off. And that's all there is to that. Okay, let's do another one. Again, where that green tape is, I'm gonna lay it down right there. Then you're gonna lay the next one, then the next piece, and then one more. Then you're gonna roll it tucking that last piece on underneath the top one, pinching it. And now we're gonna just open these guys up. I love how the petals, there's such a great variations of the different uh, layers of blues and the purple. It just really makes it pop. And then when you put it all together, it just looks really wonderful together. And then what you wanna do is once it's open and the petals are laying the way you want it, and um, you want the glue to set completely before we put this together. All right, so I made a few and let's pull this one together. And what you wanna do now is grab your green foil tape and then you wanna grab your 16 um, gauge wire. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of these guys and just make sure that everyone's open and dried. And then what you wanna do is take your 16 gauge, put it right underneath. And I would say this is about three and a half inch. And go ahead and open the tape up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down. And what I'm gonna do is, cause each layer of tape that we put on here to attach another florette it's going to um, build up the stem. So if you're looking for a thicker way to build it up, this is gonna be one great way to do it. So you have one piece on, and what I ended up doing ahead is I went ahead and gathered a few. So what I did was I actually grabbed a couple here. Um, is there a single one in here? Yep. So grabbing three, you can grab three or four, and what I like to do is like, like to group them together, just like that. And then once I have it just um, covered just enough, I'll go ahead and attach it to this. And I'll build it back up, and I'll build it back down. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it down, so that way it's it gets nice and even. And what I'll do is I'm gonna try, as each layer I put, I'm gonna add another layer right here. So that part where this, these small stems in, there won't be much of a gap or a contrast in the stem. So by the time we finish, it should be all nice and even. And that's one thing you might want to note. So I went ahead and gathered a whole bunch and did them threes and fours. And so we're just gonna go ahead and start adding them into the mixture. 
and just finding a perfect way for them to lay. But I wouldn't worry too much about it because once we get it together, we're gonna actually gonna move them around. So your main goal is just to try to make sure that when you start your tape, it's starting where you started the first one. And you're just gonna lay it down. Nice, large pieces. You don't wanna do a lot of wrapping because it's gonna build up too much tape. So nice, loose, not loose, but um, do you notice how I'm moving this down diagonally down and I'm covering a lot. I'm not using as much tape as I would originally if I was just doing this by itself. So because we're laying so many stems on here, it's gonna build this up quite a bit so we don't wanna add too much tape to this. So we'll add the next piece on here, which I think I like it right there. Again, start where your tape started, build it up, and then I'm just gonna tape this on here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but again, make sure when you get to that end part, you're gonna wrap it a few times and then bring it down. And then just snap that off. And then we'll add another piece. Build that up. Let's see, I think I like this one right here. And I'm looking also, when you're putting these color variations, do I want more purple, blues? Do I want a more even blend? So that's the one thing I'm looking for when I'm putting this together. But because we sprayed it and we cut it in certain spots, um, it's gonna blend really well no matter how you're gonna put it. But it just helps that, you know, if you want a little bit more control in the colors, um, that's what you would do. So we'll grab a few more. And then I left a couple loose ones because I want to fill them in so they're not in certain clusters. So I like this part to look like that. So, and the one thing I also look also when you're putting the stem is, where are you putting it? Does it need another piece on this side so it's more rounded? So my goal is to make the stem as round as possible and trying to add less bulk um, in certain areas. So I'll just stretch that out, give it a quick snap. And then there's a couple of loose piece. And what I'll do is any piece here that I see needs one or two places, I'll go ahead and just do that. And then again, make sure your tape starts where the other tape are. Go ahead and wrap it around as tight as you can. And then we'll bring this down. And I, there's about 30 to 40, I would say, make it a nice, good head. And then, so here's another one, and I think I would like it to be here. and wrap this around. And any wire part that I see is kind of tapering too much, I'll go ahead and wrap it a few more times just to build that stem up a little bit more so it's not too um, obvious that there is a wire underneath there. All right, and then we'll go ahead and add this piece right here. All right, we're almost about done. Just a few more florets pieces left. I think that the hardest part of doing the hydrangeas is all the paper cutting. There are so many pieces of petals for this. But I would say grab a really good movie and just sit there and just cut paper for a few hours. And then once you have a whole big stash of them, start making tiny florets and then um, before you know, you'll have a giant flower head. All right. I'm just gonna make sure that the wires are nice and tucked in. All right, and then this piece. And right here, you can actually start pulling them out a little bit. You can see it's building up quite nicely. So I see a gap right here and I'll just go ahead and lay this together like so. A 
we'll just go ahead and wrap it. All right. And there we go. And then this last piece, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and open these eyes up a little bit more. That way they don't look too crowded. And if any petals are squished, this is your great chance to like open them up a little bit more. And then once you have them open, then go ahead and start filling in that gap. have these three stems left. So I found a spot when I was moving them around and I want to go ahead and finish it one right here and then I want to go ahead and finish one right about here. All right. And then we're just going to press that in. Get some more tape. And this is the really interesting part. So the, this part here, this is where you're gonna go up just a little bit to make sure all that layer of tape is covered and then go ahead and build it down. And this time I'm gonna do pretty tight layers and just making sure when I'm going down, I'm trying to feel if there's any gaps, any huge contrast. If there are, I'll go ahead and just cover that spot over and over and build that space up a little bit more and this is it this is how you actually create a hydrangea head i hope you liked the tutorial if you do um, please like it and subscribe to my channel i would love to make more and if you have any requests for certain flowers um, please let me know i would love to make more flowers that you want to learn how to do and so thank you so much for joining me and happy making everybody